Okay, next up, let's move on to eyeshadow. This is what really shocked me the most. I couldn't believe how many people had this eyeshadow on today. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. I came up with this idea very last minute, and I just barely asked you guys on Instagram to help me out with this. I thought it would be fun to sit down and do a video using all the products that you guys are currently wearing, like the stuff that you literally have on your face right now. So I posted on my Instagram stories, you guys immediately helped me out, and I have already gathered a full face of products that I'm gonna be using that you guys are actually wearing today, which is kind of fun. I think that's a really fun idea, so I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. It was actually pretty shocking to see some of the similarities between products. Like so many people said the same eyeshadow palette, which I'm obviously gonna be using, so I'll tell you about it when we get there. But let's just get right into it. I think I wanna start with complexion today. Mm, yeah, I do. Okay, we're gonna start off with primer. A.N. Crowder said the Becca Backlight Priming Filter is what she is currently wearing. So I went ahead and grabbed this and this is what we're going to prime our face with. I love this stuff. It's been in my collection for a long time and then I recently repurchased it after running out and not using it for a really long time and ever since I repurchased it, it's been in my routine pretty consistently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face using my fingers. It just gives the prettiest lit from within kind of a glow with zero sparkle, zero glitter. It just makes your skin look super healthy and I feel like makeup sits on top of it really nicely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out and then I can kind of feel the product sink into the skin. I just realized that I have some makeup swatched on my hand. It kind of stained my hands, so just ignore that. Okay, so my skin is nice and glowy. For foundation, I'm actually shocked at how many people said this foundation as well. Lissa Jean 1202 said that she is currently wearing the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. She was not the only one that submitted this. There were probably like six of you guys and I just recently posted the story. So I'm sure over the next 24 hours that my story is live, there will probably be even more of you guys that say that you're wearing this right now. I'm just gonna take one pump off the back of my hand. I'm gonna take my Sigma, my flat Kabuki F80 and I'm gonna start to apply this all over the skin. Um, I wear the shade 420. It's a perfect match for me. This is actually one of the best shade matches in a foundation that I own. So I'm just gonna start by buffing this out all over the skin. And then once I have a little bit less on the back of my hand, I'm gonna go in with my sponge. Look how fun this sponge is. This is from Dose of Colors. I'm just gonna take what's left on the back of my hand and use this sponge to press the foundation into the skin just to make it look as natural as possible. This is such a fun sponge. It's like massive, but I love it. I love that there's still angles on it because I can really get into the under eye area, but then you can also use it to really blend out larger areas of the face. All right, next up, we actually have an under eye corrector that somebody was currently wearing. This is from Juliet's. She said she's wearing the Bobbi Brown under eye corrector. So I have this right here. I bought this a while back and I bought it in the shade Bisque. I honestly feel like I could have gone a couple shades lighter. So I haven't really reached for it as much as I feel like I would if I had a lighter shade. But with that being said, I'm going to use it anyway since it was one of the suggested products. I'm just gonna take this on my ring finger and I'm going to press this into the under eye area just to brighten it up. And obviously you can see that it really does brighten up the eye, but the thing is it doesn't really blend into my skin tone the way that one of the lighter shades probably would. In the viewfinder, it looks fine. In person, you can see that dark peachy undertone, but you can see how well that works. I mean, you probably wouldn't even have to wear a concealer over top if you didn't want to but it is meant to be layered underneath concealer. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm also gonna make sure to apply some in this inner portion here. I feel like a lot of us get a little bit of discoloration right here. So I'm gonna make sure to cancel that out. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna take a bit of that and apply it around the nose too. Okay, so we have our corrector on for concealer. Paris Gipple said the Jouer Concealer. She says, I'm telling you girl, best ever. So I actually have this. this. I'm hoping this is the one she's talking about. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I know they recently launched another concealer, so I'm hoping this is the one that she was referring to. I bought this a while ago and I've only used it a couple times, honestly. So I was excited to see that somebody was so passionate about it because I really wanted to give it another go. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that underneath the eyes. Let's do a bit down the center of the face as well. By the way, I have the shade Custard. 
which is pretty close to my skin tone, so I am gonna use it both under the eyes and over blemishes. You guys probably know that I usually try to purchase two different shades of concealer, one that's a little bit brighter for under the eyes and then another one that matches my skin tone exactly, but I only have one shade in this and it does work for both. So I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques concealer brush, or what is this called? I always forget, the Deluxe Crease Brush, but I use it as a concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend it out as best as I can with the brush first, then we'll go in with the sponge afterward just to press it into the skin a little more. Okay, so once that's pretty blended out, I'm just gonna take that sponge and press this into the skin. I'm just gonna take what's left on the concealer brush and buff that on the eyelid just to conceal the veins and discoloration there. Okay, so for bronzer, I have a couple that I wanted to use. Nicole Conietta, I hope I'm saying that right. She said the Fenty Cream Bronzer is what she's wearing. I recently received these in PR. I haven't had a chance to use them on camera yet, but I have been using them off camera and I already really, really enjoy the formula. So I was excited to see that somebody else has been wearing them. And actually she was not the only person that said the Fenty Cream Bronzers is what they are wearing. So let's see, they sent me three shades. They sent me a contour shade, which is this one right here. It's a little more cool toned. And then they sent me two of their actual bronzer shades. One is Butta Biscuit and one is Macchiato. So I think I'm gonna use just these two. I've been getting the most use out of these two right now with my skin tone. So I'm gonna first start off with Amber, which is again that contour shade. So I'm just gonna take that and start to press it underneath the cheekbones a little bit. And I'm using this one more for the structure of the face more than like actual warmth. So I'm just gonna take this down the sides of the nose as well. Underneath the nose, I'm gonna do under the lip. And also right here on the sides of the temples, I just feel like that helps shape out the cheekbones a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty subtle, but that's what I want. I'm gonna go into the shade Butta Biscuit, just with the same brush, honestly. I'm just being a little bit lazy today. I'm not gonna switch brushes. And I'm gonna go a little bit higher with this shade because it's a bit warmer. This is what I wanna use to really warm up the complexion. So this is also what I'm gonna use to warm up the forehead right into the hairline a little bit. I'm also gonna stamp a bit of this across the nose, right over the bridge, just where the sun would naturally hit. And then I'm gonna go back into the amber shade, which was that more cool tone. And I'm gonna apply this right underneath the chin and down the center of the neck right here, just where that natural shadow would be. And then I'm gonna go back into the bronzer shade and just kind of add a little bit of warmth along the neck as well. And I'll put a little bit along the chest just to make sure that there's a nice cohesive flow with the color. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just gonna take my flat kabuki brush and just kind of buff over the edges slightly. This just has the foundation that's left over on it. So I'm just gonna kind of buff that all over the skin. And then I'm gonna take my sponge one more time and just gently press everything into the skin, making sure that there's no harsh edges. But yeah, I've been using these quite a bit and I have really, really loved them. I really like how subtle they look on the skin. So for example, the um, contour shade, the tone of it is something that could potentially look really unnatural, but because of the formula, I feel like you can't go wrong it's a nice sheer formula which helps it look way more natural so I've been really really into these actually I think they're so pretty okay so for blush I actually have two people that suggested specific shades in the Fenty cream blushes um, the first one is Gizzle 05 she said she's wearing the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer and butter biscuit which I believe is that one I wore right yep that's the bronzer shade that I wore and then the cream blush and strawberry drip which is this really beautiful vibrant pink but then there was somebody else that said they were wearing the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin'. So I have these two shades to choose from. I'm leaning toward this one just because of the eye look I'm going to do and the lip color, but I might layer this one up later, who knows. We're gonna start with this one though. I'm actually gonna take the same brush that I just used for bronzer. I'm just being lazy today. And I'm gonna dip into that Petal Poppin' shade. Listen, I've been using these blushes like crazy as well. A little goes a long way. I definitely could have used a little bit less than this even, but I love the shade range. These were also sent to me. There's a shade that's like orange and gold that I've been using like crazy. I forget the name of it, but it's like the tangerine color. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just press around the edges and a little bit on top of the blush just to kind of tone it down a little bit. I was a little bit heavy handed, but that's okay. There we go. I think that's the prettiest color. I've been wearing this one a ton too. The Dragon Clan said, I'm wearing that Natasha Denona diamond blush palette you convinced me to buy. <laughs> um, Sorry, not sorry. I have been 
definitely using this like crazy. I recently purchased this off Sephora during their sale. It was a sale on a sale. I believe this is still on sale, you guys. I can't stop using this. It's so beautiful. You get both cream and powder products in here, blushes and highlighters. I love it so much. I really have not stopped using it. So I thought this would be a really pretty highlight to use. I'm gonna start with the cream base right here. I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna press this on the high points of the face, just right over the blush. So on the cheekbones in a C shape around the temples, I'm gonna put a bit right here down the center of the nose, also the cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna mix these two shades. I've been loving to do this. I'm gonna take the Duo Glow and then the Glow Extreme, just on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna just kind of dust that over top of that cream base. I'm obsessed with this duochrome one. It has a little bit of a pink shift to it. It just looks so pretty on the skin. I don't own anything like this. So we're going for it today. We're gonna to be really, really glowy. I'm gonna take a smaller brush with the Glow Extreme shade and just go down the very center of the face. I don't really want too much pink necessarily down the center of the face. And then as always, I'm gonna take my sponge and just press over that as well. Okay, things are looking real dewy, but I like it. I'm gonna use a little bit of powder next. There are two different powders. Both were mentioned several times. Rachel Christina, 1984, said that she's wearing the Wet n Wild Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love this. And then BNW B-Ball said that the JH or Jaclyn Hill Mood Light Powders in Do Me and Brighten Up are what she's currently wearing as well. So I've got both options. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild one first for underneath the eyes. Then we're gonna add a little bit of glow with the Jaclyn Hill powders. So starting off with the Wet n Wild, I'm just gonna press this underneath the eyes. I'm making sure to first pat out any um, concealer that creased. I'm also taking this powder kind of along this area here on the sides of my nose. Then I'm gonna actually mix the Jaclyn Hill Mood Light powders. I'm gonna take the shade Do Me, which is a little bit more of a golden champagne undertone, and then Brighten Up has a bit of a peachy undertone. I love both of these powders so much. So I'm just gonna take about an even amount of both and just mix that in the cap. I wanted to lock in the powders, but I don't wanna lose that glow that we had. So I'm actually gonna apply a bit of this underneath the eye just to hopefully try to bring back some of that dewy glow to the skin. I'm also gonna use this to set the T-zone or the forehead, I should say. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, yeah, so it's setting the face, but it's not a flat powder, which I love. Okay, so once that's buffed in, I'm just gonna gently take my sponge and press the powder into the skin a little bit more. I just really want this to look fresh and skin-like, so I'm trying to press it down. And then I'm taking my foundation brush and kind of going over the nose area. I feel like I went a little ham on the nose highlight. So I'm just trying to kind of tone that down a little bit. Going back in with the brush I was using for blush, and I'm just gonna try to bring a little bit of that color back over top of the powder, just so that there's a nice seamless transition from the powder under the eyes to the cream products on the cheeks. I don't wanna lose that kind of dewy cheek look. I'm just gonna add a teensy bit of another bronzer. JMO629 said that she is currently wearing the Kosas Bronzer in Light. I have this right here. I've been wearing this a lot as well. I wanted to just kind of use it as a bit of a bronzer topper. So I'm just gonna dust that along the forehead a little bit. I'm taking honestly the smallest amount, a little bit underneath the cheeks and just the tiniest bit across the nose and maybe what's left on the chin. I just want a hint of a sheen along the forehead just to kind of add to that glowy look. Okay, let's do brows. Kayla Morgan said the benefit precisely my brow is what she's currently wearing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as well. I'm gonna use the shade four, which is what I normally use. And I'm just gonna quickly fill in the brows with this pencil. This is so fun to like combine all the products that you guys are currently wearing. I'm so nosy like that. I wanna know what you guys love. I wanna know what you guys are wearing right now. So this is really fun for me to kind of put all these products together in a full face. I also love how it was kind of spontaneous. So I feel like it really shows what you guys are reaching for. If you actually literally had it on your face, like that's gotta be a really good gauge as far as what makeup items are good, what you guys are gravitating toward. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Okay, so the brows are filled in. Okay, next up, let's move on to eyeshadow. This is what really shocked me the most. I couldn't believe how many people had this eyeshadow on today. 
A. Bickling and several other people said that they're wearing the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. Seriously, you guys, I counted so many people that are wearing this palette. It makes sense to me. I feel like this is a great everyday palette and it made me excited because it meant that I could wear it again. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Coolada. I'm going to tap off the excess and then start to buff this on the eyelid. Well, into the crease, I guess, and a little bit above the crease as our transition shade. I'm also gonna take that same brush and just pinch the bottom and run it along the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here called Shell Yeah. It's a really pretty kind of toasted color. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm gonna use this to deepen up the outer third of the eyelid. So along the lash line, and then once there's less on the brush, I like to take that into the crease a little bit as well. And actually, I'm gonna do the same thing where I pinch the brush and just apply that along the lower lash line. I'm focusing this on just the outer third of the lower lash line this time, and then connecting it into the existing shadows on the top lid. Next, I'm gonna take the center shade right here. This is called Coco Crush. I'm gonna take that on my finger, and I'm gonna wear this all over the eyelid. So I'm just pressing that from the inner corner to about two thirds of the way across the eye. This is such a gorgeous eyeshadow. I love it. Same thing over here on this eye. I'm gonna take a damp brush and dip into the same shimmer shade. And then I'm just gonna make sure that there's not too much fallout by applying it on my hands first. And then I'm gonna try to apply that same color along the lower lash line. I think that looks really pretty. I'm gonna take that buffing brush that we were just using with that reddish shade and I'm gonna go underneath the lower lash line just a little bit to create a bit more dimension there. Now, normally I would add more colors, but I actually really like how things look right now. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So next we're gonna move on to mascara. Callie Girl Tiff said that she's currently wearing the Bambi Lash Mascara from L'Oreal. This is also another one of those products that was mentioned several times. This along with the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise was mentioned a lot. So I thought I would use this, obviously. I wanna wear what you guys are wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the top and bottom lashes. I forgot to mention when I was putting on foundation that there were also a lot of people that were wearing tinted moisturizers. I think some of the top ones were this one right here, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I saw a lot of people wearing the ColourPop tinted moisturizer. A lot of people were actually wearing the Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation. It was so cool to read through all of your submissions and see what you guys reach for on an everyday basis. Okay, so I definitely got some mascara marks on the eyelids. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. I am buffing away a little bit of eyeshadow fallout. There wasn't too much. It's mostly just like a little bit of that glitter in the shimmer shade that fell down onto the face, but we're looking so glowy, it's just blending in anyway. So while I wait for the mascara to dry, let's move on to lips. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And then Darth Lisa 1227. Lisa, is that supposed to mean like Darth Vader or something like that? Is that a Star Wars reference? Because Lisa, you don't look like a Darth any Thing. You look like a very nice person. Lisa is wearing the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Yana. I've got it. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this all over the lips. This is a really pretty like beigey pink shade. So I'm just gonna apply it a bit of that initially and then I'm gonna take my finger and use that to blend it out. This is also kind of fun because I didn't run out and buy any of these products. So it's cool to see that you guys are wearing some of the stuff that I'm wearing all the time as well. Or some of the newer stuff like the Fenty cream bronzers that I'm really into, you guys are also into. Okay, wow, I'm really into that lip color. I don't know if I've really worn this one too much. I feel like there was a period of time where I did but it's been a while, it's such a pretty color. Okay, this next thing is something that several people also mentioned. KCB is wearing the Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss today, so I'm going to wear it too. This is what it looks like. This is like the pinky version of the original gloss. It's such a pretty color. And yeah, there were several people that said that they were wearing this today. So I'm just gonna layer that right on top. Wow, that's a really nice lip combo, isn't it? It's like perfect for every day. It's deep enough to where it brings life back to the skin, but it's light enough to be an everyday kind of a lip combo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the mascara marks now before I forget. And then I kinda wanna try something for the inner corner of the eye. I wanna go back into my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette, and there's this diamond powder at the bottom. I wore this the other day as eyeshadow, and I felt like it was really pretty. I wanna try it as an inner corner highlight, but I'm gonna need to wet the brush to make sure there's not too much fallout. So I'm gonna get some on the brush first and then just spray that with a setting spray. And I'm gonna kind of do the same thing that I did on the back of my hand where I kind of press it into the back of my hand to make sure there's not too much fallout. And then I'm going to apply this diamond powder in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit into the inner crease here, a subtle scoopity boopity, if you will. Ooh, 
Ooh, I think that's pretty. Very nice. Okay, let's step back and assess the situation before we do um, setting spray and brow gel. I'm just taking my sponge and kind of pressing underneath the eye area just really gently. I'm also gonna press down the T-zone a little bit. I'm looking very glowy today, but I don't mind. I'm taking that brush we used with the highlight. I'm just kind of buffing that over top of the cheeks one more time. Also gonna take what's left on that powder bronzer brush and just kind of dust that across the forehead and a little bit down the neck too. I think that's pretty good. Okay, we're looking glowy today, but that's kind of what I was going for. Okay, so for setting spray, Distraction Noodle was wearing the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray today. So I've got mine right here. I'm almost out of this. I'm just gonna pull my hair back and then spray the outer portions of the face. Just like that. I feel like that setting spray is very, very dewy. It definitely has a little bit more of like an oil base to it. So it made my skin <laughs> extremely glowy. I'm gonna go back in with um, a little bit of my Wet n Wild translucent powder, just to kind of re-mattify the very, very T-zone. I feel like I got a little bit of setting spray on the sides of my nose too. So I'm just gonna add a bit of powder there, but I don't mind if the rest of the face is extremely glowy. All right, last but not least, Ruth Swizzle is wearing the Glossier Boy Brow and she says, love you, Allie, I love you too. Thank you so much for submitting this. I'm gonna take my clear Glossier Boy Brow and I'm gonna use this to set the brows. All right, you guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I love how it turned out. It was so fun for me to see all the things that you guys are currently wearing like literally today. And I love how the look turned out. It seems like you guys are definitely into natural neutral tones. A lot of these products are really glowy and dewy as well. So thank you so much to everybody who submitted a product on my Instagram. You guys helped me so much and I really appreciate it. Let me know if you like these types of videos. You guys know how much I love to involve you in my videos. So if you guys want to participate in more, first of all, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I normally do these kind of Q and A type videos where I ask you for your product recommendations and advice. So if you're not following me on Instagram yet, it's just at Ali Glines. And I will definitely continue to do these in the future. I think it would be fun to even make this one a series where I see what you guys are wearing on a certain day randomly and you guys just share exactly what you have on your face and I create a look. I love how it turned out. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and staying healthy, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!